Welcome back, cubby friends. It's time to take out your honeycomb handbooks. Today we're going to do bear hug 25 together. Let's find out what our friend Timothy and cubby bear are up to today. Timothy's friends, Mia and Will, came over one Saturday to play. Let's play catch! The friends ran to the backyard. Mia picked up the ball and tossed it to Cubby Bear. Cubby tossed the ball to Timothy. Timothy grabbed the ball. Watch this! He swung his arm back and sent the ball flying past Katie Collie. Katie raced after the ball, spun up high in the air, and caught the ball right in her mouth. Good job, Katie. You never miss the ball. I have a new trick. She sat on her back legs and flipped the ball up onto her nose. She held the ball still for a few seconds. Then she twirled three times with the ball still on her nose. All the friends clapped and Katie took a bow. Let's play hide and seek. I'll be the first counter. Everyone go hide and I'll look for you. Mia closed her eyes and started to count. Where should we hide? How about if we hide in the woodshed? I see the door open. Timothy and Cubby slid quietly past the door into the shed. They crawled behind a wheelbarrow and sat down to wait. Soon they heard the sound of Dad riding on his lawnmower. The mowing sounds got closer and closer to the woodshed. And then the sound stopped, and they heard footsteps outside the woodshed door. Hmm, I must have forgotten to shut this door. He slammed the door of the woodshed and locked it with his key. Cubby and Timothy looked at each other with big eyes. How would they get out? Dad, we're in here! But Dad was starting up the lawnmower again, and he couldn't hear them. Uh-oh, we're trapped! Don't worry. Next week, you'll find out how Cubby and Timothy get out of the woodshed. Let's say our core truth together. Jesus says to tell the good news. Uh-oh. Cubby and Timothy are trapped in the woodshed. Cubby friends, how do you think they will get out? The Bible tells us about two men, Paul and Silas, who were trapped in a place much worse than the woodshed. Let's hear what happened. Paul and Silas were telling people the good news of Jesus in a town called Philippi. The men in charge of the town didn't like what Paul and Silas were doing, so they beat them with sticks and threw them into jail. Make sure these men don't get away, they told the jailer. The jailer dragged Paul and Silas far inside the prison to the darkest, coldest, smelliest room of all. He chained their feet in wooden blocks so they couldn't move. About midnight, Paul and Silas were lying on their backs, praying and singing songs to God. They sang so loudly that all the other prisoners in the jail heard them. Suddenly, God sent a mighty earthquake to shake the floor and the walls of the jail. The locked doors swung open. The chains of every prisoner came loose. The jailer awoke from his sleep. When he saw the open doors, he was frightened because he thought all his prisoners had run away. Jailers could be killed if their prisoners escaped. We are all here, shouted Paul. Shaking with fear, the jailer fell down before Paul and Silas. He was amazed at what their God had done. Then the jailer brought Paul and Silas out of the prison and invited them to his house. Sirs, what must I do to be saved, he asked. Paul and Silas said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Cubby friends, this is our Bible verse this week. The jailer and all the people in the jailer's house believed in the Lord Jesus and they were saved from their sin. They were so happy they had heard the good news about Jesus. Then in the morning, 
the men in charge set Paul and Silas free from jail. Acts 16.31 Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Remember, believe means to trust in who Christ is and what he's done for you. And saved means kept safe from the punishment for sin. Let's say our verse together now. Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Let's say our review verse. Romans 10, 15. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. To finish this section, say Acts 16.31 to your grown-up helper and have them sign your handbook. Don't forget to complete your weekly check-in. I'll see you next week.